Welcome to Hymn Stories, a podcast about how our songs of the faith came to be and how they've encouraged, comforted, and strengthened believers like you and me. Hymn Stories is a part of the Media Gratier Podcast Network. My name is Ryan Bush. Paul Gerhardt was born in Saxony in the year 1606. Many of his hymns have served the church ever since. One of his hymns, Now All the Woods Are Sleeping, has been connected with a staggering account that multiple people have corroborated. It took place on September 14, 1796, a dreadful day for the small Hessian town of Lisburg, which was built on the wooded heights of Vogelberg. Between 9 and 10 o'clock at night, 500 fugitives of the French army, which had just been defeated by Archduke Charles, fled through the city, and they were breathing vengeance. began to destroy, to murder, to plunder for many hours. They set fire to the town at all points, and by the end of the ordeal, 58 dwellings were burned completely to the ground. On the slope of the hill just outside the town stood a cottage, where a mother sat at the bed of her sick little one. She had refused to flee into the woods, for fear of endangering the life of her darling. She would not venture out into the cold that September day. But now, when the firing and the murdering began in the place and the smoke of the burning houses came down from the hill into the valley, the poor lone woman became fearful. She bolted the door of the cottage and threw herself on her knees in prayer beside the cradle of her little one. She remained there for a long time, praying, waiting, trembling as she listened to the shouts of the soldiers and the shrieks of their victims. At last, her door was struck by the butt end of a musket. A Frenchman rushed in and he pointed the bayonet at the horrified woman. The mother laid her hand over her child, and with a voice of despair she prayed aloud the verse of Gerhardt's hymn. My Jesus, Stay thou by me, and let no foe come nigh me, safe sheltered by thy wing. But should the foe alarm me, oh, let him never harm me, but still thine angels round me sing. Suddenly the soldier lowered his deadly weapon, stepped to the cradle, and laid his rough hand softly on the child's head. His lips moved as if in prayer and Teardrops fell over his bearded face. Then he gave his hand to the mother, and he went away in silence. The mother stayed there stunned for some time, listening to the sounds of war. After some time, she arose from her knees, and she looked out of her little window. And behold, there stood the Frenchman, his musket on his arm. He had made himself the sentinel to protect the house the mother and the child, from all insult or harm. At last, when the whole troop, laden with their wares, marched off, he left his post. God's providence, his care and his governance for his children is a precious, precious thing. And he's given us helps along this way. One of those are songs of our faith, psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. And you may find, like this poor woman, that when you are faced with danger, when you're faced with imminent death, when you are faced with tragedy, the hymns that you have sung to the Lord will come back to your heart to give voice to your soul. We sing hymns in order to give voice to our worship unto the Lord, but these hymns also serve us because they remind us of who he is and whose we are. They bring us comfort because they point us back to the comforter in whose hands we rest. Amen. Thank you for joining me in this episode of Hymn Stories. 
May the Lord bless you and keep you as you sing and make melody in your heart to him.